Hey, welcome back to the Crypto Kiwi YouTube channel. And in this video, I want to show you my solar setup. So I mentioned before I was putting in some solar. Well, I have. Uh, the phase, what I'm calling phase one, I'll explain what that means later. I spent $110,000 and I have 30 kilowatts, uh, like DC rated, right? At a panel rating, um, ground mounts, two arrays ground mounted. And so this video is all about showing you that build, that setup. So from a empty paddock here on the ranch, to you know, a finalized, fully functional system. That's what this video is gonna go into. Welcome to the channel. And it's solar install day. So this is the first day of putting in the solar. So to start with, they're just marking out where all the frames are gonna go. And they've got a machine that they're gonna drill the holes and they're gonna put in the posts, concrete them in. Start putting the frames in. So 75 Canadian solar, 395 watt solar panels. So they're all going to go on the uh, on the array out here. Okay, so from seeing them unload the the dingo machine. And how far they got they didn't get too far they started to dig holes with the machine but it hit a lot of rock so they took it away and they're going to get a bigger machine they can uh, i think dig a lot deeper so they had a good go that's actually not too bad it's a reasonable depth some of these i think went okay see that one they didn't get very far if you just put the post there on the concrete with the amount of wind that you're going to get for the size of these uh, structures they are just blow out of the ground i'm sure you need to get these things pretty deep so like that one they didn't get very far at all so they're going to get a bigger machine so something with a little more horsepower just turned up to break through the rocks so that's going to be good this thing will have a bit more go so uh we shouldn't have any issues getting through the rocks after this one. It's working pretty good. It's going through the rock enough, so it's uh, it's good. Okay, truck with supplies turned up. Here's um, all the horizontal racking, inverters, cables, wiring, all the toys. This is what all uh, all your money gets you. Lots of stuff. Here are the in phase inverters, so these should be good. Costs a whole lot more to get um, individual end phase inverters than it does to just use a, a string inverter. And then here's some of the, the wiring where it goes into the panels and then it connects into the inverters. So that's good, it's all here. I'm looking forward to all the individual um, monitoring you can do and the individual output that, they, that the uh, inverters can do. So they should be pretty uh, pretty top, top shelf and I should get the most power out of it and also it should last 25 years so it should also get a uh, good uh, good service without it without it uh, without it breaking the guys are over there digging away and the new machine is uh, working better making progress back here getting down to nearly four feet a hole so that's uh, that's good it needs to be to sustain all the all the forces that are going to be on it with all the wind and the size of the structure Deeper. Making progress. So the holes are filled and then put the poles in. They're just waiting for concrete now and then they're good to go. Yeah, electricians are here talking about how they're going to do all the wiring. So the concrete just arrived. Wow, I got two pallet loads. That's pretty serious. Alright, they're getting everything concreted. The poles are going in. And it's starting to look pretty straight, so that's good. The ditch witch, there we go. I guess that's uh, what it's called, this machine to dig a trench. Except there is a lot of rocks. But they got all the uh, poles in, all concreted. 
seems like they're just measuring up all the uh, rest of the frames so they can figure out how they're going to cut all those things. to length, getting it ready to set up either later today if the concrete sets uh, fast enough or if not they'll do it first thing in the morning. Well, at the moment this is the current situation of this trench. The uh, sprinkler main that got busted is here somewhere. Can't see it yet because there's so much water. And here's the rest of the trench. This is how it's starting to shape up at the end of end of today. Letting the concrete set on all the main poles, and then uh, I'll be back in the morning. Uh, good morning, just after 8, it's uh, 36 Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius, so a little chilly. Here's how everything finished up last night, and um, uh, the crew, four of the crew are here, and they're just getting set up for the day. So today, they should have all the, not only all the racking up, but also all the panels on, and even all the wiring done, believe it or not. So um, that's going to be quite a lot of work. There's still some more trenching to do. There's still some more um, laying the, the conduit, putting in all the power cable. But then they're going to be looking to get all that, actually uh, get it all finished up today. So quite amazing, quite a lot of work. So a lot, big, big day today on the farm. Trimming all the poles down. So the poles are going to be shorter than um, what they are right now. see how high this frame ends up being. They've got the first cross member on the bottom, so that's how low it'll be. Coming together. Getting ready to lay pipes. All right, solar farm update. They um, started mounting the cross members, as you can see, but they found that um, on one of the poles there, it hadn't quite set enough and uh, checking a few of these other ones some weren't quite set because it's, it's pretty cold so um, it needs a bit more temperature so they kind of they didn't want to be wriggling poles around and potentially loosening it in the ground the whole idea is that um, this needs to be very solid and very fixed because you don't want anything flying away when it gets a little windy so um, not quite set so today's Thursday they, um, they have another job tomorrow but they have to get started so they're gonna let it sit and they will be back on Saturday there is the electrician coming back to start to do a bit of wiring mount some things do a few poles um, so that's going on and I'll film that a bit later but otherwise that's the current status good morning 7:45, Saturday let's go out of bed the guys are going to be turning up soon to carry on, but the uh, sun's just coming up and we're going to get a bit more digging done because it's not quite deep enough yet as far as how I want it. It's not bad. I mean, we've got a um, decent trench in here, got a lot of rocks out, but um, this bit's good. I've got no problems with this bit, but where it needs a bit more digging is um, around here. I'm not quite happy with uh, some bits along here. I think it could probably be a little bit deeper. Okay, now it's just after eight. The uh, crew's arrived. It's starting to trim everything down and get it ready to mount. Framing's going up. Now you get to see the angle that the uh, panels will go on. Nearly 11 a.m. And uh, you can see it's coming together. Okay, the electrical is underway. Conduits in place. Let's go in the trench. And I'll come down to the meter box. 
will come down to the, the disconnect rather, which goes across to the meter box. Here we go, they do a lot of the wiring first. So they mount the inverters and actually uh, do a lot of the wiring. So it's almost like um, the, uh, the panels is almost the last thing to go on, which is interesting. I thought they did panels first and work from there, but they kind of work backwards. They do all the inverters, the wiring, everything. And then uh, looks like the panels will go last. This panel. Panels actually go on pretty quick. You can see uh, already, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, there you go, five on. Yeah, hey, uh, pretty quick. Getting some of the wiring done. Three rows done. About to start the fourth. Okay. It is 2.30 in the afternoon and um, on the front array, furthest away from me, they're putting on the last of the, the fifth row. There should be uh, 40 panels on there and on the back side here, they've got a couple rows in and they're just doing some of the wiring, so um, it's good. It's coming together. Hopefully we can fire this thing up this afternoon. Here is my uh, new outlook <laughs> from the back of the house. It used to be, uh, used to be able to see a bit more of the road, but um, not so much anymore. Yeah, you can't quite see what's going on over there. Oh well, probably should pay to reduce your energy bill. Okay, let's get into the end of the Saturday. And uh, wires down at the box, so that's a good start. And conduits in. It's all. Um, it's pretty deep. Deep enough anyway when you put a little bit of concrete on it and then I'll still get some grass to grow. And then otherwise there's just some wiring going on. The panels roll up, they're all connected, and then we'll go back to the box over there. So once the uh, once the wiring is in they can pull it to the switch and obviously it's not gonna make any uh, energy today now the sun's gone, but at least it'll be ready to go tomorrow. And then there's a bit of wiring to do over there on um, on that post there too for all those panels, but they're going to come back in the morning and finish that off. So we should be good. Should be making some energy soon. Looking forward to it. And they're ready to turn it on. Last bit of wiring is happening, and then it's all going to be fully wired and ready to commission. And today is cloudy. The system is. It's fully commissioned. Um, some of the, the, the monitoring and some of the reporting stuff isn't fine-tuned yet. There's actually quite a bit involved with the, uh, the in-phase inverters and the controller and all that kind of stuff. So I'll actually look forward to showing you some of that. But um, it is generating power. I've got an app, I've got a sense, a sense monitor connected to the, um, the cables that feed back into the house. And so right now I can see it's actually producing around five, six kilowatts, even with this much cloud. And there's a lot of cloud. I did see it spike as high as eight kilowatts. Um, otherwise it's kind of been sitting around the five, five mark. So um, yeah, it still works a bit even when it's cloudy. And it's nearly the shortest day of the year. So I imagine I'm kind of at one of the uh, lowest producing kind of days that there is. So. Looking forward to uh, when it gets a lot more sunny and there's more daylight. Okay, and that was the build of what I'm considering phase one of my solar farm. So 30 kilowatts, ground mount. The only thing left to do out here now in this phase is the holes need to be covered in. Some of the trenching still needs to be you know, filled in completely. I'm gonna get some new topsoil to help the grass grow back over. But essentially it's built, it's fully operational. And so in the next video, I'm going to get into the details of how much power it produces, how I'm using it, how everything's configured, and how the overall you know, financials and economics play into the amount of money that I invested and how that's going to pay out over the long term. So once again, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next time. Thank you. Bye.